Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies, bro. The reason I'm making this video, the reason I have a YouTube channel, the reason I have a PC, the reason I'm a gamer in the first place. This was quite literally the first rated M game I've ever played. Th this started my childhood. This started a path to everything I am now. For four years, I've been desperately buying these zombie Treyarch games in hopes that I would recapture somewhat of that feeling playing zombies playing actually good game modes and maps and not just this fecal matter that Treyarch keeps producing. It's time I kill that hope in my heart that they can produce a good game. It's it's time I stop giving them my trust and my $60 in hopes that they'll drop good zombies content. But it was not the fan base that killed the Black Ops games. No, no, no. It was literally just the developers. And that makes it all the more saddening, man. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? I'm Trello. Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the reasons Black Ops Zombies is simply just not what it used to be. I mean, it's over now. I mean, really. Three games in a row. Black Ops for Vanguard and Cold War have all completely tarnished the Call of Duty Zombies name and now there's really no going back. It's it's time for us to all move on. I need to let my feelings out about it. Okay, so we first have to start where it all went downhill and this is not very hard to discover. Black Ops 4 is where the Zombies franchise went downhill. Previous to Black Ops 4, all the games made sequels that actually expanded on the Zombie franchise in a good way. Nothing felt out of place. It all added to Zombies, enhancing the experience. Black Ops 3 being the peak of all zombies. Black Ops 4, instead of taking a step forward, took a step to the left. Not, not a step back, but a step to the left. They went and they created a new perk system. Now we had a loadout class system. They got rid of gobble gum. Now there were new abilities and shit that you could use. We took a step away from the ether storyline and introduced a new set of characters that had nothing to do with Rick Toffin. But all that additional shit doesn't really matter when we talk about the one thing that solely ruined zombies. Easter eggs. That's right, Easter eggs ruined Treyarch zombies. You might be wondering, Treylo, Treylo, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Easter eggs are what make Treyarch zombies. That's what makes people come back. That is bullshit. What kept people coming back was the content and the unique features that each zombie map provided. Every zombie map was an arena which you could not escape. Maps relied on the environment, wonder weapons, perks, and other secret things to keep the player entertained. That was enough to provide for everyone. And what made it even cooler was the Easter egg, the optional Easter egg in the background. Black Ops 4's first mistake was making the Easter eggs too integrated into the map and the basic progression. In order to open Pack a Punch, you had had to do an easter egg step sometimes that was a part of it in order to get the special weapon in the map you needed to do an easter egg step it was impossible to progress in the new zombies maps without searching it up on fucking youtube black ops 4's maps were filled with tons of cool content but the problem was most of that wasn't accessible to the average player who didn't know how the hell to open up a door that had three key codes the game relied on the main quest of the map rather than the base content of it and this was the first Black Ops game to do something like that, and that difference was felt. Despite it being not a great game, Black Ops 4 still did do many things correctly in their zombies mode, and I still commend them for trying something new, but it still failed pretty miserably overall. Now we come to Black Ops Cold War. The true downfall. The feedback was clearly heard from Black Ops 4 that the easter eggs were too hard and too a part of the map. So what did Cold War do? They ensured that the easter egg could be found on each map by the average kindergartner in 35 minutes. The easter eggs were so damn easy. And why were they so easy? Half the time the game told you exactly what you needed to do and where you needed to go on your HUD with ping markers. The characters talking on the radio in the background the entire time telling you what's happening even though you don't give a shit bro. You're just trying to play zombies. The objective of zombies now was to complete this easter egg. It shifted from being a zombies map that you drop into and play for the experience and the content in that map into a mission. Into this is what you're supposed to do to complete this map. Essentially every map in Cold War would have been nothing without their easter egg. They all relied on this easter egg content to provide the content for the map. And that's just not how zombies ever was. That's not how zombies was ever really meant to be. This shifted zombies from a survival mode that, you know, was a survival sandbox 
to a campaign. You have to understand that now the maps are almost made to the point where the Easter egg is the foundation of the map and then everything's on top of it instead of the other way around. These were the critical decisions that developers decided to make that split the community. Vanguard is confirmed to continue the storyline that Cold War started and it's likely that it will also continue to follow the same exact Easter egg system that Cold War and Black Ops 4 originated with. In Cold War, I mean, they added this extract system where you could leave at 20 rounds or 25 rounds. The reason this is in the game is because the Easter egg does the same thing. It takes you out of the map. They know no one wants to be on their shitty ass maps for more than 30 rounds. It's boring. It's not fun. Do the Easter egg or get off. And when zombies changed into this mentality, it just became a normal zombie game with no charm. And that's what it'll continue to be because they chose this generic ass path of a game. I wish we could go back to the days when, you know, playing a map till round 50 was fun. It was challenging. I felt fulfilled when I was playing and I got that far, but now it just feels like everything's a chore. It feels like if I'm not doing the Easter egg, I'm missing out on what's important in the map. And damn it, man, I wish it wasn't like this. I'd do anything to have a new Treyarch Zombies game that actually stayed close, at least somewhat close to the formula that the older games had. But yeah, guys, Easter eggs killed Black Ops Zombies. Tell your friends, okay? Let me know what you guys think about this. What do you think killed Black Ops, if not the Easter egg problem? Let me know down below in the comments, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.